Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how we can build DIY live stream camera which can be accessed over internet from any part of the world. So let's get started and build this device. For this project we need one Raspberry Pi. You can use any version of Raspberry Pi, one Raspberry Pi camera and a micro SD card. First, flash the micro SD card with latest Raspbian image. For this project, I am using 32-bit light version of Raspbian OS. Next, open a notepad and add these lights, wherein to mention your Wi-Fi SSID and password. Then save this file to the micro SD card with the name wpa underscore supplicant dot conf. This will enable the Wi-Fi on your Raspberry Pi. Again, open another notepad file and then save this blank notepad to the micro SD card with the name SSH. This will enable SSH on your Raspberry Pi. Once the SD card is prepared, insert the SD card into Raspberry Pi. Then attach the camera module in the camera interface of Raspberry Pi like this. Once done, just power on the Raspberry Pi. Now let's come to the coding part. First, connect the Raspberry Pi using an SSH tool and login. After login, we will update and upgrade the Raspberry Pi OS. After upgrading the OS, we will enable the camera interface of Raspberry Pi using sudo raspberry config and then go to the interface option, camera and enable the camera option. Once the camera is enabled, we will reboot the Raspberry Pi. Now we will be installing all essential libraries that includes OpenCV and Flask web server. Once these libraries are all installed, we will start the actual coding. You can get the list of all libraries in the description as well as in the GitHub page. After finishing all the library installation, I will create a file named camera.py. Inside it, first I will import cv2, then numpy, then from flask, import flask, render template, response, stream with context, and request. Then I will start capturing video using OpenCV from the attached camera. In my case, the serial number of the camera is 0. Then I will initialize the Flask server. Next I will define a method video underscore stream. Inside it first I will initialize a loop which is an infinite loop. Inside that loop, I will start capturing the frame one by one from the captured video. 
then I'm checking the frame if there is no frame then I will break out from the loop or else I will continue under the else part first I'm converting the captured frame into a JPEG file Then I'm converting this JPEG file into bytes. And next I'm using yield function to broadcast these bytes over HTTP protocol. So with this method video underscore stream, I'm actually broadcasting motion JPEG files over HTTP protocol so that means that it can be visible from any web browser. Next I will initialize all the context path. First I will initialize slash camera context path which will render template of camera.html that I will be defining later. Next, I will define the context path slash video underscore feed, which will return the video stream method output as a response. At the end, we will run the Flask web server with host 0.0.0.0, .0, .0, .0 port 5000 and debug equals to false. Make sure the debug is equals to false, otherwise the code will start throwing error. Next, I will be creating a directory named templates and under this directory, I will create an HTML file named camera.html. Inside the camera.html, copy and paste the code. You can find it from my GitHub page where you can see the video underscore feed context path has been called. Now save and close this file and test the result. Run the camera.py file. Copy this URL. Open any web browser. Paste it with context path camera and you will get the live feed from the Raspberry Pi camera. Next, I will make this video feed available over internet using remote.it. Remote.it is a cloud-based solution which allows you to access your computer remotely without port forwarding. So first, I'm installing the remote.it in my Raspberry Pi. Once the installation is complete, copy this URL, open a web browser and paste it. This will take you to the remote.it configuration page where you need to enter your username and password. If you don't have an account in remote.it, you can go ahead and create a free account. Once the credentials are entered, click on sign in. Then click on setup and here you have to register your device. Give a name of your device. In my case, I gave RPI camera and click on register. By default, it enables SSH and remote.it service. So you have to add a new service. Add a new service. Give a name like camera. Add the camera port 5000. Leave everything as it is and then click save. So now this will add your camera service into the remote.it. Now start the Flask server by running camera.py again. Open a web browser, go to remote.it, log in with your remote.it username and password. After login, you can see your device is connected. Now from this, you can 
open the camera service so now once you open the camera service it will generate an url for you this url is unique every time you log in or restart the device now copy this unique url open another window of your browser and paste it with the context path camera as you can see the live camera feed of raspberry pi over internet and we can watch it from any part of the world finally i will make this program auto start at reboot so for this i create a file named launcher.sh and add the python command to start the program Next, I will add this launcher.sh file at cron tab with reboot operation. That means this launcher.sh file will be executed every time after the reboot of Raspberry Pi. And this launcher.sh file will trigger the Python file at backend. That's it, and the project is now ready. You can enhance this project by adding more features into it, like machine learning features to detect object or recognize face etc thanks for watching and see you at the next video bye